Welcome to BIF Talks of this 35th Braunschweig International Film Festival. My name is Clara Hense and I have the great privilege and pleasure to be holding talks with guests of this festival, directors, actors. And the aim of the BIF Talks is to get a closer look at the films we'll be showing here at this festival and to get in touch with the people behind them. My guest today is Katie Brady, the director of Wildfire. Welcome. Thank you. The, the title of your film is Wildfire. What is it about? Wildfire is a, it's a very unusual film. Um, the film is set in borderland, Northern Ireland, modern day. And it's, it's really about the story between two sisters, one of whom has been missing. And she returns home um, back to borderland, Northern Ireland. And she begins to unearth all the family's history. And her older sister realizes she has to face that truth, that legacy with her, otherwise she risks losing her forever. And what is the challenge of linking, I would say, personal political trauma via the, the medium film? Well, you know, I think I, my intention was never to make a political film to begin with. I feel that Wildfire is a, is a much more personal story first, and it's a story that, that deals with the legacy um, of pain and secrets within a family that haven't been talked, haven't been discussed. And when I began the research, I was looking at, you know, families within um, Northern Ireland, and I was looking at trauma within families. And when, when you begin to drill down to the personal, you can't separate it from the social and the political. And I, I realized that at the heart of this family, they were dealing with the trauma that happened to their mother. But that mother's trauma happened within the community and within the country. So the film in somehow, in, in a way, becomes political because it's personal. And you are also the screenwriter of this film. How did you develop the story? Like you also already told us, the research process within the community and also with the actors, I assume. Well, Wildfire, unlike most films, it originated with the actors first. So I, I didn't have a story to begin with, but I had a cast. So I had worked with these two actresses before, and um, but not together. And I thought, what would happen if I put them together? And, and that's really where it started. The actors met, I sat back, and for me, it was like creative fireworks. So I was like, I desperately want to work with them together. And, um, and, and so, it really started there about that energy, that connection. And we both agreed that we wanted to tell a story with fierce women at the heart, complicated women. And um, around that point, I had said to both the actors, have you seen a documentary called Madness in the Fast Lane? Now in this documentary footage, you see twin sisters walking along the middle of the motorway. They throw themselves into oncoming traffic and survive with remarkable fury. And for me, that moment really threw me. Like, how, how could you survive something like that? And secondly, what took them to that moment? So we took that as a moment and we fictionalized it. We took it back to Borderland, Northern Ireland. We looked at the idea of a shared psychosis within a family in, in Borderland, Northern Ireland. So we began with workshop and research hand in hand. And then from that, I went off and I, I developed a script. And what means sisterhood in this film? And sisterhood also maybe referring to Northern Ireland and Ireland. I mean, I, I, I mean, people can pull that uh, comparison that does one sister represent, you know, Northern Ireland, does the other sister represent South? Personally, I don't think so. I think sisterhood is when women can truly be themselves, I think they tap into something very primal, very powerful, very fierce. And when I mean fierce, I don't mean in a, an aggressive way. I mean in a fearless and kind of ready to commit to a truth and, and face it. And I think, you know, when these sisters find this bond together, you know, they, they are capable of going to the depths of their psyche with each other only through the support of each other and coming out through the other side. And um, what was the most challenging during the shooting process? You were talking about energies here, intense emotions. Can you give us an insight into that? Well, I think, you know, 
it, we we were developing this film for five years uh, before we got to go to screen, you know, before we got to shoot it. So in many ways, that felt like one of the biggest challenges. We had such an incredible shorthand by the time we got to set that a lot of the work was done. So even though they were very complex scenes, um, we were very willing and able to go for it. And in, in many ways, we had a lot of fun, even though it was <laughs> it was a very dark, you know, scenes and d deep moments. Um, but personally, I do think the biggest challenge for me facing this film was uh, Nika's death. Our lead actress passed away in post-production. So that, that in itself was like the biggest mountain I've ever climbed. And I think anyone seeing this film, when you see the performance, and the performances are remarkable from the two actresses, that, you know, she had given everything to this film and she adored this character and was, you know, she was so determined to tell Kelly this really difficult character but give her a lot of love and truth but not soften down the edges. And she did something remarkable. And for me, it was just like, to sit in the edit then and finish the film without her was incredibly difficult. But I think when you see the performances, you'll understand why. You know, I, I literally would have gone through fire to, to finish the film for her. And you'll be staying a whole week in Braunschweig right now, giving a lot of Q and A's. What do you expect from that? It's a, like a different scenery here, different audience also, right? I mean, I, I'm fascinated because, you know, Wildfire has, uh, you know, it's traveled the world virtually for a year, but this is my, only my second film festival. So I have yet to meet international audiences, really. So I, like for me, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious, will this translate? What, what will audiences take from this? So for me, I'm just, I'm excited to hear what questions the audience have. I'm excited to hear, do they laugh? Do they hold their breath in places? I have no idea. And you started your film using footage from the news about Brexit, right? And the pot potential impact on Ireland. Why that? Well, it was something that, that did come later. And I think it was, um, we had someone come in on the edit and they were from America and they weren't aware of politically what had happened in, in Ireland and they weren't really politically aware of what, really what, what is Brexit? What is happening, you know? And I think, you know, Brexit, we're all very familiar with it. It's, you know, especially if you're in, in Ireland, in borderland, Northern Ireland. Um, so I think we, we needed to, to just preface the film with how pertinent this film is now, how we got here, because in a way the film deals with the past. And if you don't somehow acknowledge the past, it'll come back because life has those cycles. And I think putting the archive on the front was just like, if we don't talk about what happened in the past, how can we really move on? And I think that's kind of what happened with the Good Friday Agreement, you know. There was hundreds of prisoners released as, as a result of the Good Friday Agreement. But it, it did mean that a lot of families and victims had to, to continue to live in these communities with these people who, who had had been released, and that's very complicated. And now we've got Brexit, and now we're talking about the protocol, and you know everything that the Good Friday Agreement stood for is now being questioned. And I think this film goes, okay, let's let's look at it with inside the context of a family, the context of two siblings, and um, can you walk in their shoes? And I think I think that's kind of you know. What I hope to do with the start of the film, you know, is, is set up the political, but ultimately you enter into the personal after that. You were talking about the past earlier. Now I'm referring to the future, which is Saturday, coming Saturday with our big um, um, prize ceremony. You're nominated for the Heinrich, which is the voting award, um, the audience award, and also the Volkswagen Financial Services Award. What are your feelings about that? Ready to gain a prize? <laughs> Oh man, I, I don't know. I'm just, you know, honestly, I'm just very happy to be here. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not even <laughs> looking ahead to Saturday. I'm just taking it moment by moment, you know. So maybe, maybe I should be in the past or the future should be here right now. Thank you so much for being with us. I hope you enjoy the stay at Braunschweig International Film Festival. Thank you. And have good luck with the Q&As. <laughs>